welcome to train a dog the podcast where i talk to myself on a train today we're going to be talking about poison oak and whether it's really oak or not my vote not oak but first writer mail let me just scroll down until i find this writer mail got a whole bunch of scroll here we go okay this writer mail is from the 917 area code. Uh, this writer writes, Jimbo, Rainbow, Wambo, Jumbo, no Jim really had a question. I wanted to know what you felt the emotional part of your life was up till this point right now. I, I mean, uh, falling in love for the first time was pretty good. I remember that. I remember enjoying that. Um, I don't know, high school, pretty depressed in high school, probably, I mean, I wasn't diagnosed or anything, but I bet I was, uh, thanks so much, man, have a great day, I love you, bye, oh, that's, that's cool, I love you too, 917, alright, where's 917, I want to figure out who I just loved, Seven uh, area code New York City. Wow. Thanks, nine one seven. All right. Um, Poison Oak. It's the topic at hand. Poison Oak. West. WebMD. Aller- allergies to poison ivy, oak, and sumac. Um, Toxicodendron diversilobum. Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. Toxicodendron diversilobum, commonly named Pacific poison oak or Western poison oak, is a woody vine or shrub in the sumac family. It is the widely distributed. It is widely distributed in Western North America, inhabiting conifer and mixed broadleaf forests, woodlands, grasslands, and chaparral biomes. Chaparral is a word I should know. Chaparral is shrubbed or heathland plant community found from early in the U.S. state of California. Okay, it's good to know. Like other members of the Toxicodendron genus, T. diversilobum. Am I missing a letter there? I really feel like I must be. Diversilobum. I, mean, I just don't know how to accent it is what I think it is. Uh, causes itching and allergic rashes in many humans after contact by touch or smoke inhalation. Toxicodendron diversilobum is found in California. Also the original name of Los Angeles. Yangna or Lyangna poison oak place. Oh shit. <laughs> L.A. used to be called Poison Oak Place. That's great. The Baja California Peninsula, Nevada, Oregon, Washington, and British Columbia. Uh, The related tea something, Eastern Poison Oak, is native to the southeastern United States. Something, something, something. It's common in various habitats from Mesic... This is just like... This is written for biologists. It's riparian zones. Riparian zone is an interface between land and a river or stream. Oh, that's cool. Being a biologist is cool, you guys. Riparian is also the proper nomenclature for one of the 15 terrestrial biomes of the Earth. Plant habitats and communities along the river margins and banks are called riparian red vegetation characterized by hydrophilic plants. Oh, plants that like water. That explains why they're near the river. Um, The vining form can climb up large shrub and tree trunks into their canopies. Sometimes it kills the support plant by smothering or breaking it. And sometimes not, presumably. All right, so where's the part where it's, whether it's actually an oak? 
um, Toxicodendron is a genus of flowering plants, plants of the sumac family. It contains woody trees, shrubs, and vines. Okay. Anacardiaceae, a family of flowering plants bearing fruits that are droops. Troops, looking that up. In botany, a droop or stone fruit is an, all right, an indehiscent fruit in which an outer fleshy part, exocarp, uh, uh, surrounds a shell of a hardened endocarp with the seed inside. Um, I'm looking up indehiscent. Indehiscence is a splitting at maturity along a built-in line of weakness in a plant structure. Oh, because the the, the peach butt. Yep. Uh, in some cases, producing urushiol, an irritant. The Anacardiaceae include numerous genera with several of economic importance. Mango, poison ivy. I wonder if poison ivy is of economic importance. Um, order is Sappendales. Or Sapindale or Chamomile. An order of flowering plants, well known members of seven citrus, maples, horse chestnuts, lychees, rambutans, mangoes, and cashews, frankincense, and myrrh, mahogany, and neem. Alright, none of these seem like oaks so far. Rosids. Uh, oh, it's under the. Here's a bunch of like divisions between kingdom and order. Rosids. Members of large monophyletic clad of powering flowering plants containing about 70,000 species, more than a quarter of all angiosperms. The molecular clock estimates indicate that the rosids originated in the Aptian or Albion stages of the Cretaceous between 125 and 99.6 million years ago. Tell me about this molecular clock. A technique that uses the mutation rate of biomolecules to deduce the time in prehistory when two or more life forms diverged. That's incredible. That's awesome. Uh, Eudicots. Monophyletic clad of flowering plants that have been called trichol pot nothing, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. Shared derived characters. Angiosperms. Plants, flowering plants. Also known as Angiospermae or Magnio Magnoliophyta are the most diverse group of land plants with about 350,000 species. Like gymnosperms. Seed producing plants, including conifers. Okay, yeah. Alright. So none of these things look like they are synonyms for oaks. I think I'm going to have to actually ask my question directly. Is poison oak actually oak? Is poison oak actually Is poison oak actually oak? Oak. Um, many people get a rash from poison ivy, poison oak, and poison sumac. Oil 
itchy, blistering rash, allergies, pictures and remedies. Here's a poison oak fac on knowledge without a W, knowledge.org. My girlfriend and I went on a picnic. I don't know how she did it, but she got poison oak on the brain. The only, when it itched, the only way she could scratch it was to think about sandpaper. Stephen Wright. That's pretty good, Stephen Wright. The best Poison Oak site on the web. Welcome to Poison Oak Treatment the Ask Questions page. If you have a question, I will add it to the list. See the bottom of the page for email link. I am not an expert. Really, someone stupid enough to get poison oak on several occasions. What is poison oak? What causes the rash? Identifying poison oak and poison oak be spread by scratching. More general information, remedies, etiquette, anecdotes. Poison oak can be a bush, vine, root tree, whatever. My theory is that it is sentient and has a collective malevolent intelligence. I also believe it is capable of reaching out and grabbing one's ankles when hiking on the trail. This is not Stephen Wright's webpage. The answer is no. Once you get the rash, you can't spread it around by scratching. The reason most people think it's spread by scratching is because of secondary infection. You touch a poison oak plant, the oil is on your hands, you rub your face, it gets there. The oil is spread. Now after a while, there isn't as much oil to spread around, so some parts get hit more heavily. What this means is the rash appears soon in some spots. It takes a couple days in other spots. This gives the illusion that you've spread the rash by scratching or whatever. If you are exposed, take a shower immediately, no matter how long it's been. Find the First, make sure all the clothes you wore, including shoes, are in a separate bag. Wash them before touching them again. Do not use hot water. Soap does not help and may even spread the oils, says Dr. William Epstein, a poison ivy expert in the University, the University of California at San Francisco, who advises following the water with rubbing alcohol to pick up oil that might have soaked into the skin. Some people immune. Weren't the American Indians immune to poison oak? Did they smoke to, to develop an immunity? Smoking poison oak does not develop immunity, is what this guy says. I have poison oak in my backyard. How do I get rid of it? Your best bet is just to call a tree company. I know of a good one in the Bay Area, but they have too much business already, so I won't mention them. But there are tree companies that come and chop down trees and spray oak trees and so forth. They may be able to get rid of poison oak. I also read recently that goats eat poison oak. Maybe you can get a goat. Huh. to the burning question. And I'm not sure we'll ever get one. It might be just... We might have to wonder forever whether poison oak is actually a kind of oak. I certainly don't know. And I might never know. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I'll never know. I'll never know the answer to my question. Poison oak is the fucking worst on Gizmodo. Everything we know. Is poison oak a kind of oak? I 
I don't identify poison oak. Do you know how to spot poison ivy, poison oak, poison sumac? How to identify identification? Poison oak scientific name. Uh, you know what? I'm going to look up oak. And maybe oak will know. Oak. Oh, man. Uh, I accidentally switched to the shopping tab, so I've got search results for oak lumber, oak bookcase, oak flooring, honey oak dresser. Hardwood, unfinished European parquet, oak. Uh, oak NYC, new men's items at oak. This is just like the shopping results when I go back to the normal results. Okay, here we go. Oak, an oak is a tree or shrub. the genus Quercus. List of Quercus species. Yeah, show me the list. 600 species, some of which are listed here. Oh, good. Ugh. The genus for poison oak was Toxicodendron, not Quercus, so... I think that answers the question, actually. Oaks have spirally arranged leaves. And then when I link to a split, click, click, link to spiral, I get a cutaway of a nautilus shell. I'm sure that's exactly how oaks have leaves. Biodiversity and ecology. Oaks are a keystone species in a wide range of habitats from the Mediterranean semi desert to tropical rainforest. For example, oak trees are important components of hardwood forests, and certain species are particularly known to grow in associations with members of the in oak health forests. A number of kinds of truffles, including two well known varieties, the black paragord truffle and the white Piedmont truffle have a symbiotic relationship with other trees. The European pied flycatcher is an example of an animal species that often depends on oak trees. Many species of oaks are under threat of extinction in the wild, largely due to land use changes, livestock grazing, and unsustainable harvesting. For example, over the past 200 years, large areas of oak forests in the highlands of Mexico, Central America, and the northern Andes have been cleared for coffee plantations and cattle ranching. There is a continuing threat to these forests for exploitation for timber, fuel wood, and charcoal. In the USA, entire oak ecosystems have declined due to a combination of factors still imperfectly known, but thought to include fire suppression and increased consumption of acorns by growing mammal populations, herbivory of seedlings, and introduced pests. In a recent survey, 78 wild oak species have been identified as being in danger of extinction from a global total of over 500 species. The proportion under threat may be much higher in reality as there is insufficient information about over 300 species, making it near impossible to form any judgment on their status. In the Himalayan region of India, oak forests are being invaded by pine forests due to the increase in temperature. The associated species of pine forests may cross frontiers and become new elements of the oak forests. In eastern North America, a rare species of oak tree trees include scarlet oak, chincapin oak, and post oak, which I, make, which I guess is what you make posts from. Sudden oak death. Oh, maybe there's a sudden poison oak death. That would explain a lot, actually. I'm going to go ahead and... Sudden poison oak death. Um, oh no, the plant disease caused by a fungus, fungus-like microorganism, Phytophthora smirmorum, is referred to as sudden oak death because of its association with premature death in tan oak trees. The disease occurs in northern California wildlands and affects several native California plants, including poison oak. So, it actually does affect poison oak, even though it's not the same genus as oak. And apparently not the same thing as oak. Well, who knows? Maybe a writer can write in. 
Sudden oak death is a water mold that can kill oaks within just a few weeks. Oak wilt caused by the fungus is also a lethal disease of some oaks, particularly in the red oaks. Other dangers include wood boring beetles as well as wood rot, root rot in older trees, which may not be apparent on the outside, often being discovered only when the trees come down in a strong gale. Oak apples are galls in, on oaks made by the gall wasp. The female Kermes scale causes galls to grow on Kermes oak. Oaks are used as food plants by the larvae of, of, the, of the mutter butterfly and moth. Species such as the gypsy moth, the Lymantria dispar, which can defoliate oak and other broadleaf tree species in North America. A considerable number of galls are found on oak leaves, buds, flowers, roots. Examples are oak artichoke gall, oak marble gall, oak apple gall, napper gall, spangle gall. A number of species of fungus cause powdery mildew on oak species in Europe. The species Arisophy at Alphatides is the most common cause. A new and yet little understood disease of the mature oaks, acute oak decline, has been reported in parts of the UK since 2009. Oak processionary moth has become a serious threat in the UK since 2006. The caterpillars of this species defoliate the trees and are hazardous to the human health. They're Bodies are covered with poisonous hairs, which can cause rashes and respiratory problems. But that's about all the time we have. All, all we have time for. So, in conclusion, grapes are oak trees.